everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul this haul is insane it is 20 kits just from spc it's a mixture of stuff from the shop and stuff from the buy sell trade um it was my birthday recently and i treated myself like i'm gonna hold my hands up um this was the biggest box i've well i've never had a stackery um shipment come in a box um <laughs> so it was a lot this is only part one this is just the spc stuff there's gonna be stuff in future hauls um yeah i i have massively slowed down since this point but there was a lot of like i'm i'm basically there i've picked up every single dream kit i have um i think um through the buy sell trade so like that's insane because i really didn't think i'd ever be able to do that so yeah that's kind of why um you know if you haven't been around here forever um like i didn't use to shop at spc so there's a lot of kind of dream kits i have that i never thought i'd be able to have so i did kind of treat myself a little bit for my birthday so just kind of wanted to preface that um i have no idea when i'm going to use 20 of these kits. this is like half a year's worth of kits nearly so um i have no idea when i'm going to use them um i also want to preface this by saying i have my vaccine yesterday this was also my busiest week at work i've just completed it um so if i at any point in this video sound kind of tired it's because i'm filming like in the heat having had my vaccine feeling very tired but i really want to put these kits away because the piles are like kind of massive on my coffee table so i really wanted to film this and i know a lot of people have been waiting for it i've had so many instagram messages asking to see this so i really wanted to film it for you guys but yeah just wanted to preface that if i sound a bit tired um also i haven't got my studio lights on in this video because the weather's kind of good enough that the lighting is okay um but also glossy doesn't show up that well with lights so it's easier for me to do it in natural light with it off i think that's all my housekeeping let's show you what i got okay this is i don't really know how many orders three or four i'm gonna start with like orders from spc and then i've got a lot of stuff from the buy sell trade so yeah we'll get we'll get into that but we'll do shop stuff first i'm gonna go through this relatively quickly there are 20 spc kits to show so i need to probably try and not be too chatty because my phone literally cannot handle footage that long so i will be moving at relative speed so the first one we've got here is one of the freebies that you get for spending a certain amount which is this rose gold spc rose gold is very pink which i really like uh so some scripts this one i'm i can't really read it i'm pretty sure that says 300 freebie like i really don't think i spent 300 dollars in one order so i think this was thrown in because it does look like it's a little bit oops so i, I really to preface you'll see this is a number of orders rather than one so i really don't think i spent 300 in one go unless i'm like really misremembering um then the spc team are super kind and they include rack bags with most orders now where they put a few sheets together from a kit so um they have had these freebies made which are some foil script freebies so i've got a hollow one then they often throw in an extra sheet so these ones are some scribblers i won't use these but i will gift those on further then i have had this rack bag before so these are sheets from spooky magic and if you watched my last haul with spc stuff i mentioned that i then needed to go find the spc kit uh, spooky magic spc kit which i did um, <laughs> so that is coming in a future haul it actually is not in this one but it's coming in a future one um and that is that is the downside of the rack bags um but in the main i will try not to get the kits i will try to just use the extras then in this one we've got this rose gold script freebie and then they threw in this beautiful bow gold uh bottom washi which is absolutely stunning very very happy to have that and then this kit i don't i don't know the kit um so i'm okay with the fact that i don't have it um and i will just save all of these extras especially as i buy mini kits it is useful for me to save glossy extras i don't have a lot of glossy kits so it is really helpful for me to have glossy extras that i can bring in uh particularly given i'm using mini kits so very very grateful to have those and like it even more when they're ones where i don't then need to go find the kit um and then my third and final rack bag again we've got the hollow script freebie i think that's hollow um and then we've got these like face marks scribblers and then this one is from the halloween art that jess released last year so i did have this art from anna um so i won't need to track the kit down because i have already had it um but really cute and i mean these colors like this purple is just absolutely gorgeous so i will see what i can make that work with okay then next let's go into i got a couple of the grab bags um again as i've kind of alluded to i don't 
I didn't use glossy before shopping with Andrea, so I needed some glossy stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, particularly if I pick up stuff in the buy sell trade and they don't come with glitter headers or they don't come with enough label samplers or um, bottom washi, I need to have a bit of a supply on hand because the rest of my stuff doesn't go with it. So I picked up a washi grab bag. I have already assigned a couple of these to kits that I picked up in the buy sell trade, so this isn't all of them, but I'll just briefly show you these. I cannot remember how much this grab bag was. I'm really sorry. But I don't think it was very expensive. There was a really good range of colours. A lot of very neutral ones. But the sort of pinks and blues have already been assigned in the main. Um, so yeah, already been, already proved useful. Then there was a label sampler. I need to go into a bit more thinking about which kits I want to assign these to. Because I may need to cut them up to sort of divide the boxes. Because like I'm pretty sure this is from like the Coco kit, for example. And I don't have the Coco kit. And it's going to be difficult to find a kit that has these exact colours. So yeah um but still very useful to have as i say i don't have a lot of spares in glossy uh, unless i get them from rack bags so i thought this would be useful i am going through a bit of a panic because i have mostly been buying mini kits and to be honest i'm starting to worry that mini kits are not big enough for me um but i also haven't used a lot of the kits i bought from spc to really prove this theory i'm just panicking um so in the main i'm going to try and just keep adding to the stash like not feeling i need to rebuy there's one kit i think i need to rebuy in ultimate which is batu bound because i bought that in mini with a few add-ons but we're going to be using that like hopefully when we go to florida i plan to use that for the second week we're in florida um and so i i, I need that kit to be bigger basically uh because i just did my birthday spread um and if you didn't see it i did like a couple of stories on instagram i don't know if i saved them but i will post about it eventually um but i used an ultimate kit for that it was the april mystery from this year and i really needed the ultimate kit so and that was like with an extender on basically every day which is what i plan to be like when we do florida so anyway i think that one i need to rebuy but in the main otherwise i won't be so um yeah and then this was a glitter header grab bag again because not every kit i get comes with glitter headers so thought it was useful to have these so that i had a stash this is from the september mystery i think this is the taco bell like it's kind of fun in a way to like go through and try and work out what these are from pretty sure this is from a kit i'm going to be showing you later so yeah i i just think this is useful to have i think this is from the christmas kit um i think i got two I think I got two because I've got some doubles in here. Uh, but again, I felt this was affordable. I could not tell you what the price was, but I felt it was affordable. And it just means I've got a range of glitter headers. But if I ever pick up kits where I don't have the glitter headers, then I can just go through my stash. I can cut these up and take the ones I need. So I think that that is useful. So that was a glitter header grab bag. And then the other thing that I picked up, um, I mentioned this in my last haul featuring SPC stuff. But I could then kind of suddenly had a panic that you know, when I'm saying about mini kits being too small. So I then was picking up basically a second label sampler. So a lot of these are from kits you've already seen. I'm guessing this was possibly for a kit that I'm showing later because I would have picked up the bottom washi. Um, but this kit I picked up kind of much later than when it was released in shop and the add-ons had gone. Um, so yeah, I think that's for that. This is from the graduation kit. This is the up kit, the aerial kit, the Winnie the Pooh kit, the Moana kit. Sorry, this is so difficult to get through. This is the Dala kit. These are the fashion boxes from the Biggest Fan kit because I thought I would be fine without having like the box with my hair colour, but I then decided I needed it. Then that's the label sampler for that kit. Then this one, I think I got to, like I got a couple of these and these are I think to just match. They're, they're kind of close-ish colours to kits I purchased. And then this is from the March 2020 mystery, which is the sort of fun fairy one. Uh, which has been redone for this year and released normally um, and I got the original one in a de-stash but it didn't come with the bottom washi so I'm going to see if this bottom washi goes so that's basically what those are from and then I also picked up the SPC pool party this was like the additional um, label add-on that I don't know how I missed what, what a generous label add-on so so I picked that one up as well Okay, then before we get into the kits, because there is stuff other than kits in this haul, um, I did pick up some of the doodles. In the main, I pick up the Disney doodles from Andrea because I do get doodles from other shops. Um, but, you know, Disney ones are not as easy to come by. And Andrea is a big fan of Disney and I really like how she does them. So these are the Epcot doodles. These are the Magic Kingdom doodles. Sorry, you can see stuck together. <laughs> um, these are just some YouTube ones. I mark YouTube a lot, so I just thought they would be useful. These are the monorail ones. These are the Animal Kingdom ones. The Hollywood Studios. 
like Disney food, like cutlery. Then these are the McDonald's Happy Meal boxes. I don't get Happy Meals from McDonald's anymore, but like I just thought they were really cute. And then McDonald's bags. We do get McDonald's. Not loads, but a fair bit. So wanted to pick those up as well. Okay, let's do kits I bought in shop first. <laughs> um, okay, there's so many. Right. So the first one we have is the fellowship kit, which is the Lord of the Rings art from Kitness Jess. I'm completely in love with this kit. I picked it up in Ultimate rather than Mini because I had to have this toolbox. It, this kit, uh, oh my gosh. So, um, when I, Jess was sneaking that she was drawing this art, I just kept messaging her being like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then we were talking about it in the um, Planner Face Discord channel where there's just like loads of planner people. And we chat in there and I just kept saying like, I, I need to see the Arwen box, like I need to. And I thought that what I wanted was Arwen in her green dress because Arwen's my favourite character in Lord of the Rings and I thought what I needed was the green dress. And Jess actually went for this dress. This red is stunning. Like, I, I doubt my um, I, I doubt my phone is picking it up that well. Like, I haven't got my lights on because glossy paper reflects weird. So I'm doing this with natural light. So I doubt it's coming up that well. But oh my goodness. Like, this red is everything. But also, this Arwen dress is the dress that my mum made for me for my 11th birthday. I had a Lord of the Rings birthday party and my mum handmade me this dress. So it's even more perfect than Arwen in the green dress. Um, yeah, and I, 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 I'm I, not really sure when I'm going to use this. Like, in theory, I could use this for a spread related to me, like a birthday spread or something because of the Arwen. But then, it, like, there's so many kits. Like, Disney represents me more than Lord of the Rings. Um, but, like, Lord of the Rings also represents Stuart. Like, he's been to New Zealand. He's been to Hobbiton. My dad is a really big fan of Lord of the Rings. My brother is named after Samwise. Like, Lord of the Rings is very much in my life. <laughs> um, and, like, when I was younger, I had, like, a huge picture, like, a poster like huge one of Legolas on my wall um uh, yeah <laughs> like L Lord of the Rings just really it, it's just a thing so my gut right now tells me to use this for Father's Day next year um because I think of all the people in my life who love Lord of the Rings it most represents my dad um but there is like a birthday box in it so I don't know anyway we also have this as a fridge magnet so yeah so yeah this is just adorable like jess has gone all out because there are so many people in this because the add-on box is the fellowship like oh, just just look like adorable uh we've got eowyn arwin we've got sam and frodo again like i can't get over it it's beautiful jess like absolutely outdid herself as i say i had to have this toolbox i had to this red is what my new favorite color i feel like this is just so gorgeous so as i said this is in the ultimate i will be sort of flying through these to an extent because i've already chatted too much about this kit when we've got a lot of kits to get through so yeah so this is the birthday box so yeah i need to have a think um and also this bottom washi is gorgeous um i did get the bottom washi add-on which i wish was in the red but the green is so cute um so but i mean that bottom washi is gorgeous anyway and then yeah as i said we have got the fellowship that was the freebie so uh i can't i can't even talk about it um <laughs> i just I, I feel like i'm gonna cry if i think about that kit too much so i just have to move on so the next one is Biggest Ride. So this is the Coffee Doodles art when she released like loads of set and space on the Loungefly collections. I'm, I haven't collected them all, um, but this one, I was buying a lot anyway and it just kind of ended up in my basket. I was just like, oh, it's there. I'll get it. Um, I just really like the color combo. So yeah, I thought it was cute. So I, I absolutely love the fashion people as well. Like her hair is insane. So yeah, all of them have like a lounge fly backpack. We've got this really cute double scene of, uh, I think this is based on Big Thunder Mountain. Um, but yeah, I think the colors in this are really different. I think I picked up the mini kit. Yeah, this looks like a mini kit. Um, so, and the only downside with this one is because I picked it up so late, the bottom washi sold out, like the 50 millimeter and the label add-ons. And if there was any fashion add-ons, I missed them as well. So I will have to do a bit of like trying to find like, and these colors are very specific. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bit. I'm not sure if I'm bothered about finding the 50 millimeter because this bottom washi is kind of like insanely stunning on its own. I don't think it needs it. But yeah, I do really need to find some more boxes. Then this kit we've got, this, I think, was the freebie with the biggest ride kit. Um, then we have this one, which is Love Story. Again, this is me picking it up a little bit late. This was released, I don't know if it was this year or last year. Um, but 
I'd managed to resist this kit for ages, even though it's Kitten is Jess exclusive art, and that really is my downfall. Um, but I, I saw someone haul it or do a spread with it, and I was like, I'm gonna need it. And then I saw Jess do it in a plan with me recently, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I got this kit. Um, so I think some of the boxes and the washi and stuff I picked up is for me to see if it goes with this kit because as I say all the add-ons were sold out but it's this really gorgeous like I think Jess said it was released for Valentine's Day um but I think I will probably save it for an anniversary or something like that um I'm not really sure what anniversary like I I did sort of have a panic like once the all these kits arrived I was like when am I going to use these this is half a year's worth of kits and I already have about four years worth of kits like when am I going to use all of these I don't have that many anniversaries so yeah, I don't really know, um, but it's gorgeous, so it's fine. <laughs> um, I think the fashion people are gorgeous. This red head, oh my gosh, so cute. I think there was a fashion add-on, but like, I don't care because I would have used the red head because it matches so well with the kit. Um, we also have a corner sofa, so like, I think it just works. I picked up the mini kit. I feel like for this one, I feel like for all of these where I pick them up after the add-ons have gone, I really should pick up the <laughs> ultimate kits. But anyway, I didn't. Um, and then the freebie is this one. So you could use this for New Year. You could use it for... Uh, this is, yeah, in a specific anniversary box. So the New Year one, it doesn't give me New Year vibes, really. I guess stay-at-home New Year vibes. But New Year's art is my favourite, so I won't be using that for New Year's. Because I'll already have enough of a problem picking a New Year's kit. Then this one is Hello Class. Um, this is a bit of a weird buy for me because, like, I do work in education, but not, like, preschool education education and I don't have kids um so <laughs> I know what you're thinking Kat when are you going to use this um the question is I don't know and this is going to go in like my kit hoarding binder which is for kind of big life events that I haven't experienced yet which I know seems kind of crazy because the chances of this kit sticking in this many years in the future's time is crazy but FOMO I, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it like I really do get FOMO um so so and like i loved this kit last year and it was back when i wasn't purchasing from spc but it's a kit like taylor from tattoo teacher plans used it so many times i i just need it i just need to have this kit so i didn't want to miss out again so i picked it up and i will just hoard it and hope that it will remain sticky for a really long time um so it's absolutely gorgeous so this is a reformat um so this box in particular i know is different like it was way more kind of close up um in the previous version got this double box of a classroom like it is very preschooly um but i think it's gorgeous so i did get the mini kit that deco is very large i guess because you could use it in the spread um but i like to use deco along the top of my planner um so yeah really gorgeous that bottom washi is really lovely for the box add-ons i picked up the brunette and the blonde because if i i don't know it just feels really weird saying this online but like if me and Stuart have children like you know who knows right but the he is blonde and i'm brunette so i just picked up both they're not that i don't find the add-ons expensive with spc so i just get them both i picked up two of the label add-ons because as i said that's what i think is needed for a mini kit i'm still trying to work out whether i think this is be a better deal than getting an ultimate kit you save about six dollars but obviously you get less boxes so i don't know um and then i picked up the 15 millimeter and then this is the freebie which is this like class of and then you stick this over this which is such a cute idea then the next one i got is estite is it estite jess will correct me um <laughs> so um this is kittenish jess art this wasn't exclusive hello class was exclusive kittenish jess art this isn't exclusive jess art so a lot of shops did do this the reason i picked it up from spc is to be honest i just really liked the way she did the blues um <laughs> like most other shops did this art very brown and i just i really 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 like the blue that's the, like literally the only reason <laughs> um i also think that for kits this dark like glossy or premium matte paper is kind of ideal because it's like really rich for the colors so that's why i got it i'm in love with this kit i am going to use this this year i'm planning to use it on the first week of october um <sighs> It's just gorgeous. Jess does a much better explanation of this kit because she talks about the art and it, there's like a specific theme, like romantic something. I don't know. Go watch Jess's videos because she explains it so well and it was genuinely fascinating to hear her talk about it. I love this as well because it's this kittenish girl on the bag. It's so cute. But yeah, we've got like this violin, these kind of like notebooks that you have in America. I absolutely love the fashion people. I love this double box scene. Like I just honestly think this kit 
is stunning and i guess if i'm planning to use this in october at least it won't be that far away before i use a mini kit and can test if i'm able to use a mini kit so i guess that would be useful rather than me just buying a load of kits that i'm gonna hoard forever um this bottom washi is absolutely stunning um i, I did get the 15 millimeter but yeah i need to think if the bottom washi like deserves to be split because i don't know it's beautiful um but yeah i did get the 15 millimeter which i'm very happy because it is in the blue uh these were the fashion add-ons so this is the other fashion person so cute uh two of the label add-ons and then this was the freebie so alternate skin tones there so super cute then we have another kit i'm gonna hoard forever um i feel like people will watch this and be like i feel like Kat, you're trying to tell us something i'm really not um <laughs> this is really not how i would announce this particular news but i just you know you don't want to miss out <laughs> like if the art you love is coming out now the art you love is coming out now i don't know what else i can say so <laughs> so this one is baby magic and i had seen this up for a while so this is exclusive jess art again and i'd seen this kit for a while and i had managed to resist it but then I think someone hauled it and <laughs> I'm so into hauls right now and I'm so easily swayed. So here we are. The kit is now in my hands and it is really cute. And I do feel like if I was going to have a baby, like I love Disney. So there's probably a very good chance that like my baby's nursery would look like this, given that I'm waiting for some hooks to arrive to put up a load of Disney ears on our spare room wall. Like it's probably pretty accurate. So, so cute. Got this double box got the baby here like this is from the magic kit uh, not magic 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 2.0 kit as well which i do have and plan to use when we go to florida so so cute um i did pick up the mini version as well this deco is also very large also i love that it's got a nappy bag in here because um i use one of these as a like a planner tote <laughs> so incredibly useful um but yeah this the colors are really lovely this um the rack bag that spooky one that would probably go with this i need to try and remember that the bottom washi is very plain um but it's gonna look gorgeous with that like andrea planned that really well and then for the add-ons so we've got this was the freebie so the baby in different skin tones and then i picked up this fan box i just loved the tall box so picked up that one um and then we've also got two of the label add-ons so that is baby magic also going in my like kit hoarding album okay we've got two more kits from the shop to show you so this one is Tink. Oh, sorry, it's so small I couldn't read it. Um, so this is part of this new collection that Andrea is doing, which is exclusive. This isn't Jess art, but it's a different artist. Um, exclusive Disney art, and I have all the other ones, and this was the only one I didn't have. Um, not because I don't love it, because I do, but I kind of loved it the least. Like I'm not a big Tink fan. Uh, I haven't seen Peter Pan that many times, so I was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine to not own it. But then I decided that I'm a completionist and <laughs> I would like it. Also, I think this is a gorgeous spring kit. And I d haven't really decided where I've fallen on doing a Disney memory planner next year or not. I'm kind of thinking like character memory planner. So I could still use like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter kits and stuff. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so I then was like, oh, I need more Disney kits. I don't have enough to do a memory planner. I have enough non-Disney kits though. So that's probably why I shouldn't do a Disney memory planner. Um, I also like, I really like, I'm getting back into Animal Crossing. So I love that we've got Animal Crossing in here. And this is very much like kind of tinkerbell mix with animal crossing it's just a really cute vibe um like it's very cottage core it's very cottage core uh the deco is stunning like this kit is actually really pretty like the longer i look at it the prettier i think it is to be honest um i like that bomb washi it's just wow um so in terms of the extras i've got two of the label add-ons as usual and then the bottom washi um the ultimate kit did come with tink as a toolbox and that would have been gorgeous but i was like no this isn't a kit you're obsessed with you don't need to buy an ultimate okay the last kit from like spc rather than oh and that was the freebie for the uh tink kit um the last kit that i got from shop is park hopper i have again resisted resisted this kit for a long time it's kit is just exclusive art how did i do that i don't know um and especially as it's disney it's everything i love in one thing <laughs> but i kept kind of being like no like you know you prefer like princesses you you know when are you going to use this but like this is kind of what my house is going to look like like i am basically intending for our wall to end up looking like this so i ended up having to get it um and uh, i think i'm going to use it for the week before we leave for florida because you know we'll be packing and stuff so that's that's kind of when yeah that's when i'm thinking about using it um it's it's beautiful i got the mini and again the add-ons had sold out because i got it late so i really i think should have got the ultimate but let's 
because that, there were no add-on boxes and these colours are maybe a bit specific, but I don't know. Hopefully it's going to be fine. Um, it's, so I couldn't get the bottom washi, but this is like a blue one that I had in that washi grab bag. And I think that that is a pretty good match. It looks worse on camera than it does in person, but it is a good match. <laughs> so trust me. Um, and then this one is the, this was the freebie. So really cute there. So then before we get into my <laughs> buy, sell, trade stuff, um, there were a couple of full foil foil bits i picked up the first one is the park hopper foil bundle i think there was a bigger bundle than this like i didn't pick up the bougie if there was bougie um which i don't own hollow bougie and i probably will want bougie boxes for the week room florida which is when i intend to use this so uh, i don't know i'll need to find some hollow bougie before then um but yeah these are so cute so the first thing we've got is like the parks in hollow foil uh then we've got these quote boxes really cute got some headers some of these <laughs> row flare boxes uh then this is um the, the sort of top washi and then this is the bottom washi i'm not explaining this well at all um but i think this will go really well with the magic 2.0 kit and as i say that's the one i want to use when we're in florida so that's what that's for but i do need to pick up some hollow bougie so i need to try and remember to do that and then this is the leaves bundle i think there was like a a sort of burn orangey version of this which came with the july 2021 mystery which is sat in my stack tree. um so um but this was released in shop and it's this gold one and i just really liked this bundle and it was on sale so i thought i would pick it up to use with one of my autumn spreads um it's it's just really gorgeous <laughs> it's really gorgeous like if this is still in shop and you haven't got it i would recommend it um those are the bougie boxes so you get two pages of the bougie boxes scripts and icons and then like look it's so it's so beautiful i can't even tell you um and then i assume this came with it as a matte freebie i guess um i don't really completely understand the matte with the glossy foil and totally get it like i'm not really a fan of the matte foil stuff even though i think the foil looks amazing it's just i find it odd to mix them but anyway that's everything from SPC the shop. Now let's get into stuff I got from the SPC buy sell trade, which is still a massive stack. So first up, this is from one of the kits. I'm not sure which one, but it's like the once more with love emoji freebie. Um, then uh, I think it was Maggie. So thank you, Maggie, if you watch this, threw in these freebies, um, which they have movie marquees, which are my favourite. So really cute. And it's got these little once more with love characters. And so, yeah, this is really cute. Thank you so much. Okay, so the first one is August 2020 Mystery. I have loved this kit for a while. I don't really know when I will use it um, because, like, I think, like, this style of road trip is not that common in the UK. So I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to use it. I do have some thoughts, but those things aren't confirmed. So, like, I'm not going to say them. Um, but, yeah, I honestly think this kit is gorgeous. And Tilly used it recently, and I was like, I need this kit. Um, so I'm really honestly happy <laughs> to have it. Um, it's gorgeous. So it is the ultimate version uh, the colours are really cute. It's a very dark red. I maybe would have liked to see a little bit more orange in the kit, but I do think it's really cute. Very cute deco. Like, adorable. I really think you could use this, like, if you were going camping or something like that. Um, then the box add-on was this one. I love this toolbox. I will, even though this is me, I will probably use the one with the auburn hair because... I think she just goes really well. Um, so I probably will use the Auburn head one. And then the um, 15 millimeter, the um, glitter headers and the label add-ons. So loads of stuff there. Then the next one, this is a bit of a story, is the SPC Forever kit. I'd never heard of this kit. I've never seen anyone haul it. It's pretty old. Um, someone in the SPC Facebook group has made the best resource that ever existed, which is a Google Sheets with like, I don't know if it's every kit Andrea's ever done or every kit she's released while on YouTube or something. I don't know. But it's like any kit you would be able to get your hands on, basically. It's featured on this spreadsheet and it has the YouTube video <laughs> that you can then go watch it so you can see like the kit be flipped through by Andrea. And it also says whether it's exclusive art and it says when it was released. Like it's insane. I can't, I cannot get over how amazing this person is. Um, but I've never seen anyone haul this. Um, but somebody just posted it in the buy sell trade and I was like, I need that. That's really cute. So it's yet another anniversary style kit. I feel like this kit would be really ideal to use, like if you got engaged. Like I think it's so beautiful. Um, though I have another kit in here that I also think could be used for that. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I do think it's just 
it's really it's really gorgeous like i i i'm not very coherent today but it, this is one of my favorite kits i've ever seen i really love it this fashion person is absolutely stunning i mean i don't know how you would use these because yeah but like i don't know how you'd use them in the spread but so gorgeous i really love the colors so cute so that is the mini kit version and then the um freebie it came with is like this one so an extra box so you can tell this is old because they look nothing like this now and then underneath this we have the forever kit again so um like this one come with the glitter headers it's literally just the mini kit and i was like no that's fine i'll, I'll build up my collection it's fine and then, but then i saw that someone posted the ultimate version with the boxes like the fashion box add-on so i've just bought it again so you know <laughs> um if you would be interested in the other spc kit the forever kit like let's let's talk about it um i'm i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna de-stash that one um but yeah so um this is the ultimate version so i will be keeping the ultimate version rather than the mini i don't think i need both i mean maybe i could keep both i don't know i need to think about it but i probably will de-stash the mini kit version um so again you've kind of seen it but i'll flip through a bit more because obviously it's a slightly different format and it comes with this box so we get this girl which is amazing because as i say i absolutely love that dress you can see the format's quite different to spc's format now because it is quite old which also means i kind of need to like not hoard it forever because it's already several years old at this point um and it does come with the glitter headers and then the box add-on which the only downside to this is like Stuart's blonde, I'm brunette, so like I might need to cut it, which I think Andre was saying in the like release video. I never see the freebie. So I don't know. And I actually prefer like the boxes in the kit. Um and then it's like, oh, do I want to have the fashion box as well? I don't really know. <laughs> but I will keep that uh to decide. I do need a 15 millimeter, so I need to find a red because I think the bottom washi, like it's gorgeous, but it could do with a red splitting it up. So I need to find like this red in a bottom washi but yeah super cute that's the forever kit then we have this one which is a kit i've been wanting for ages which is the december mystery uh from 2019 probably 2019 i'm not 100 percent sure i just think it's so gorgeous it's movie theater themed i'm not really sure when i would use it like lauren plans which is where i saw this kit first like she uses it for oscars week but i don't ever stay up and watch the oscars so i'm not 100 percent sure when i will use it but i do think it's absolutely beautiful so i'm excited to use it and i do have extras from this from a rack bag so i can make it even bigger um, so i will probably just merge them together if i think i need to i guess or save those boxes for something else so yeah very cute and it do does come with everything so thank you to the person that sold this to me so we've got the fashion box add-on which is a toolbox uh gorgeous bright pink washi glitter headers and the label add-on so that is really cute then this one is i think it's called birthday babe um i've never seen this kit before it was just someone i think it was a deal the more kits i picked up and now I've seen this kit in person, I think this is one of the prettiest kits I've ever seen. Um, it's this really beautiful, like, rose gold vibes. It just looks really full and really celebratory to me. So I really love it. And I, like, I don't know that I would ever use it for my birthday. Like, I'm turning 30 next year and I'm probably going to use the Barbie kit. And then, so I don't know. I actually think it would be a really cute Hindu kit. But it does, this does say happy birthday, babe. Which may or may not bother me. I don't know but yeah i think it's gorgeous like i say one of the prettiest kits i've ever seen um this is the ultimate i think it feels like an ultimate with the number of pages yeah cute 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 sorry i'm rubbish at flipping through kits fast look at the deco so beautiful and bottom washi stunning it didn't come with the 15 millimeter so it did come with the glitter header add-on and the label add-on so i need to find a pink 15 millimeter which should be relatively easy to do then this one is the I Do kit. Um, this would have been ideal for it, it. Stuart's sister was supposed to be getting married in Ibiza in June this year. So it would have actually been really ideal for her wedding. Um, we don't know what's going on with her wedding. So, you know, could it might be that that's what they decide to do again. And then this kit would be perfect. But it was really cheap uh, in the buy sell trade. So I decided to pick it up. I think the colours are beautiful. And I've seen a few people do spreads with it. And I just think it's gorgeous. So I just wanted to have it. The format is so small, though. This is an older format, although this is new. But or it's an ultimate and they've like not included all the pages or something. I'm not really sure. I feel like that's what it is. 
but like that's it that's the boxes um there is a label add-on but yeah it's very very small no glitter headers so i need to find some glitter headers the pot wash is beautiful and then the particular reason i wanted this one is because it comes with the fashion add-on which i just think is gorgeous like wow um oh no it does come with glitter headers okay i did not realize that's great um and then yeah the label add-on so i probably just need some more boxes for that then this one is the force so um if you've been around the channel a while you'll know my boyfriend is a big star wars fan so i like to have star wars kits to use for his birthday or stuff to celebrate him um and this kit is so cute um so it did come with a box add-on and then the person has moved the boxes around so which i feel looks a little I don't know like it's a bit odd it's hard for me to like envisage the kit because I'm thrown by like the border but I'm not sure I can be bothered to like lift the stickers up again and put them back down in case it like you know the kit's quite old so it's probably not worth doing but <laughs> the kit is gorgeous and I think like this is to represent C-3PO I guess and then Leia um like BB-8 oh my baby I love BB-8 um so this is a mini kit Oh no, so that I do definitely is the mini kit. It's just an older mini kit version. Um, and then this was the kit freebie. Again, you, that's how you can tell this kit is old. Then we've got the glitter headers and the... Uh, no, I added this 15mm. This was from the uh, glitter, the wash bottom washy grab bag that I got. And I feel like this pink is a really good match. But I do need some more boxes for that kit. Then we have the July 2020 mystery. So this kit went completely under my radar last year. I just didn't, I don't know, I wasn't really watching hauls at that time, I think, and if I'd seen it, I would have been wanting it. It's so gorgeous. I think this is one of the prettiest kits I've ever seen. Um, I really love this type of autumn kit, like really oranges and burnt reds. I absolutely love this fashion box. This is exclusive Jess art. I just think this kit is, like I say, honestly one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Um, it is the mini rather than the ultimate, which I kind of think is a bit of a shame because the colours are quite specific although the estate kit like a lot of the colors might go so i might be able to buy those add-ons the bottom washi uh i did get the orange which is going to be so gorgeous um then we've got the label add-on and the um glitter headers so as i say like i'm going through this so fast now because i've just seen how much footage i have currently and my phone will not be able to store all this but like one of the prettiest kits i've ever seen in my entire life <laughs> then we have nap queen this kit is so cute um so this is like sort of aurora art um and i just think i really like this it's really different like i love that we've got philip here in a frame um and there's loads of like knitting references which i'm not entirely sure what those are other than if it's kind of to do with like i don't know being asleep for loads or being locked in your room sort of thing love the bed love this it's like fairy godmother's jams like sleep mask like it's really kind of self carry i just think this is stunning again i'd never seen this kit before um i just saw someone was selling it and i was like please please can i have it uh so this is the mini kit version again so i need glitter headers for this by the looks and then i added this bottom washi it's not quite the right shade of pink but i think it's close enough so yeah i do need to find a few bits to go with that should be doable i think uh two more so <laughs> this one is netflix and chill this is a kit that i've been wanting for a while but i couldn't see it i think i don't know if it's still in the shop right now but i think andrea reformatted it and really re-released it but it didn't seem to have any fashion people unless i just i don't know completely misunderstood um and i've never seen it with a fashion person and then i someone was selling this and i saw it with the fashion person and i was like it has a fashion person like fashion people to me make a kit honestly and as soon as i saw it had a fashion person in like a scoop like i would 100 percent wear this like it, it's boiling in the room i'm filming in right now but i was actually wearing shorts and a long sleeve jumper like oversized like that so like it's just my aesthetic completely Again, this is a kind of anniversary, valentines -y kind of kit, so I'm not sure when I'll use it, but I had to get it because I've wanted it for so long, but had resisted because no fashion box. This is the ultimate kit. Um, but yeah, it's I really think the theme is funny, like the deco and stuff is funny in this kit. It is very Netflix and chill vibes. <laughs> it's funny. Um, and that's the bottom washi. Um, it doesn't come with the 15 millimeter, which I think it would benefit from. So I need to find that. And it doesn't come with glitter headers. Were they in the format? No. So there's a couple of bits there that I need to bring in, but super cute. Then the last one before I show the August mystery is the June mystery. So I figure most of you have seen this one by now. If you haven't, I'm really sorry if I just spoiled it for you, but this is the June mystery. Um, it's this really gorgeous coastal theme. 
I've not really seen a kit like this before and when it was released Anna and I were like oh my gosh that kit is so cute um yeah I love it um when I use it I don't know but I do feel like I could go on this sort of break you know a sort of staycation-y but it's not staycation but like going to a beach but not really going to the beach I don't know <laughs> at this point I've been filming for like 40 minutes it's hot <laughs> but this is gorgeous it's exclusive jess art you will have gathered from the 20 kits i would say 15 of them are probably jess's art she's just my favorite artist um but yeah this is absolutely gorgeous and like jess's attention to detail <laughs> and the energy she puts into drawing i don't know it's next level i did pick up the ultimate because wow I, like I, I needed the toolbox um i didn't get the foil um because I picked this up way later after other people were selling it, where they would have been selling it with the foil. I think, I feel like from watching people, the foil didn't go with this particular bundle. So I'm okay to not have it. I think it was like a sparkly gold. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, again, you've seen this format a few times. This is the newest format. You may find someone selling this in the buy sell trade. I think I saw one the other day. So if you like it, you'll probably be able to get it. Then the mystery does come with sort of bigger add-ons. So we've got a label sampler, but with an additional color, some additional fashion boxes, more additional fashion boxes, like beautiful ombre hair, uh, the 50 millimeter. And then these two are like boxes not featured elsewhere in the kit. So the kit's going to go so far. I, I'm kind of spoiled for boxes. Like I do probably want to use the tall box and like her hair is amazing. So I'm probably going to use her. Um, but yeah. Okay. That is everything other than the August mystery. So if you don't want to see it, like, thank you for watching. Goodbye. I love you. But if you're staying, it's because you are happy to see the August mystery. Three, two, one. Here we go. So this is the first SPC mystery that I didn't buy in a D stash. I have subbed the mystery. I've subbed the ultimate with foil. Um, so this is the first one that I actually got myself. I do want to preface this by saying that had this been a theme that was in shop, I'm not sure I would have picked it up um, because I have a few kits in this sort of genre already and I don't know when I would use them. However, I really, really want to be clear. I do think this kit is beautiful. The fashion people are some of my favourites I've ever seen. So like I did kind of like when I watched Andre's reveal video, I was like, oh, OK, this is maybe the first theme this year where like I wouldn't have sought that out in the buy sell trade. But I'm still super thrilled to have it. And the more I look at it, the more I'm like, I had that. I had that. I had that. <laughs> so I feel like it's going to find its place somewhere. So I think it's like kind of known as like breakfast club theme but like the fashion people like this is exclusive jess art as well and these fashion people are next level like look at her hair look at her hair i just can't it's so stunning and like i have so many my little ponies i was a really big my little pony collector like i had a lot of tamagotchis like so the more i look at this kit the more i'm like i have that. so like i used to wear butterfly clips like this like it, there's so much attention to detail in this kit that i kind of think yeah it's, it's i love it <laughs> so yeah i really do think this kit like has grown on me um i'm so glad i should subscribe to the ultimate because this tour box is incredible um so yeah i did subscribe to the ultimate because as you can tell i'm not 100 percent sure if mini or ultimate is the right format for me but also because like the toolbox is often the best bit of a mystery kit. So it's just, I, I don't want to have fear of missing out and be seeking out the ultimate when I already have a mystery mini. So also, yeah, like straighteners, like these, um, like games and stuff. Like this kit is beautiful. It's beautiful. I love the colors. It's really like muted and pastel these patterns are like so 80s i was born in the early 90s but i do feel like the tamagotchis and the my little ponies and stuff kind of rolled over um and then yeah because it's the mystery we do have the label add-on with an additional colorway some extra boxes there some more boxes look at the my little pony um the 50 millimeter which i'm really glad is the like purpley shade it's so gorgeous and then this was the foil that came with it which i think goes really well with this kit which is this like pink hollow hearts I think it's perfect match to be honest so i will be keeping it with it um so yeah i mean it's the same format as the other four bundles but i just love i love the hearts um so we've got the bougie so cute and then yeah the look it's so gorgeous i i think this full bundle is insane so yeah that's it <laughs> now i have to do all my outro and stuff <laughs>
Okay, that is it for this haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. If you haven't already, I would love it if you had subscribed to my channel. Uh, this is only like one part. This haul is going to be in two parts. There's future parts that are going to be coming not really that far away. So I really hope you'll stick around because we've got some good stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I really hope that you'll consider subscribing. And you can also find me over on Instagram at peace.love.plan. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!